in the other video I said that it was actually really important to keep track of uh, the phase shift and uh, in order to do that we needed phasers which are basically graphic representation of what's going on inside uh, individual components for instance like resistors and um, capacitor and inductors now uh, well then I talk I said that um, in for instance in an inductor um, there would be a 90 degree shift between the voltage and the current while in the resistor current and voltage were going to be um, in phase as a matter of fact it will be rep represented like vectors be sitting one on the tip of the other so why don't we do that why don't we just um, represent them as uh, phasers, so basically as vectors. Well, let's just do that, shall we? Um, so, let's start with a, a resistor. Now, if I start with the resistor, what I'm gonna, gonna have, I'm just gonna put them uh, in the same direction, just to be, you know, just just to be, just imagine them on the axis. Oh, by the way, this is my x, y axis. So just imagine them like that. I just said that if I use green for IMAX and red for VMAX, they can be represented as uh, two vectors, one sitting on the deep of the other. So in a resistor, I said essentially um, current and voltage are going to be in phase. When they're in this configuration, they are said to be in phase. Now let's look at something that is not in phase, like a capacitor. I'm going to do the same thing for an inductor as well. So it's gonna be my x and y axis. This is my capacitor. Now, in a capacitor, we're actually gonna have a 90 degree shift. So my IMAX will be like this, just like uh, in the resistor, and just point bringing them in the same, the same, but they can rotate for um, many different reasons, but. Just keeping them uh, straight here with the with the IMAX straight here, and then rotate the other one um, in terms of IMAX. So then, if I said it, we have a ninety degree uh, shift, so our VMAX will be pointing down like so. So they are not in phase. There is a ninety degree shift. Now, if I were to do the same, but for an inductor. We will actually see in doctor that is actually essentially the same. However, just think about them as in the origin again, not drawing them in the origin because otherwise everything would be messed up. Because I have blue, then I will have green and. Um, and red and so on, everything will be messed up. But essentially, think about them as uh, with their uh, starting, with their start um, in, in the origin. As a matter of fact, they, they wouldn't be vector if their starting point w was not in the origin because of the, you know, it's it's obvious. It's basically an algebra. Anyway, so let's suppose this is my IMAX. Then my VMAX in this case is still going to be a 90 degree uh, shift. But it's gonna point up. So this one will be my Vmax. Now if we were to plot this in a graph, but not like as phaser, but like as if they were sinusoid, which they are. So this one is gonna be my time t and I'm gonna have V and I V in red and I in um, green, just like before. Well, in this case, 
we're going to have the current and then the voltage uh, 90 degree apart from one another so having them 90 degree apart will basically mean that they are like this and in this case we have that voltage leads current by 90 degree it will be the opposite with the color switched if it was current that was going to lead voltage by 90 degree so essentially capacitor are just the opposite of inductor or you can think about inductor as the opposite of capacitors um so yeah that's uh, that's how you, that's a way to think about them whenever you are in ac and you think about resistors, capacitor, and inductor, you also gotta make sure that you gotta keep in mind what's gonna happen. And you gotta keep in mind about phasers. So you gotta say, oh, okay, in the resistor, uh, voltage and, uh, and current is gonna be the same, in the capacitor and the inductor are gonna be shifted, but how are they gonna be shifted in the inductor and how are they gonna be shifted in the capacitor and so on? Because they're gonna be important why you're gonna make um, the calculation in your problem uh, while you're going to be working with AC. So yeah, this is a way to think about this. Hope it helps. As always, stay tuned. Cheers. Bye.